Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export any project in 4K from Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to be splitting this video into two main sections. First, I'm going to be showing you how to export a 4K project as a 4K video. And second, I'm going to be showing you how to export a 1080p project in a 4K video as well. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off. I have two projects that I'm going to be working with today. Uh, the one you see currently is a 1080p HD project. We'll be looking at this next. Uh, first, we're going to start off with the 4K project. Now, in this case, I have an iPhone 11 unboxing. Uh, this video is up on my channel in case you want to see it. I will be sure to link it down below. Uh, but as you can see, this is a 4K project. If we look at the project specifications over here on the top left, you will see that this is 4K at 30 FPS. So now how do we export this as a 4K file? Well, for this, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that nothing in your timeline is selected. As for example, if I were to select this clip and now export, it will only select that given clip. So to make sure that nothing is selected, just click anywhere above or below your timeline in some empty space to make sure that nothing is selected. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go over to the top right of the screen and click on the share menu and we're going to select the master file option now this menu may look slightly different on your screen but you should have the master file button and this is the one that we'll be working with today after clicking this you'll get a screen which will give you an option to change the title description creator information and add tags if we like as well now seeing as this is a 4k project as you can see final cut has of course recognized this and will automatically export this 4k file at 3840 by 2160 also maintaining the original frame rate in this case 30 fps now the file type in this case is a .mov file. This will run perfectly on Mac OS. And the file size is 1.66 gigabytes. This will be a little bit less after exporting, but let's take a look at the settings. Now there's really two main exports that I use. I'm gonna be showing you each of them and when to use what export. So first of all, we have the H.264 video Kodak. This is perfect for uploading to the web. This is in fact how I export and upload every YouTube video, including the one you're watching right now. As this Kodak strikes a great balance between maintaining much of the original quality while also being compressed to noticeably smaller file sizes. So to make sure that you export as an H.264 Kodak, first under format, make sure video and audio is selected and then under the Kodak click on H264 and then we'll go ahead and select next and export to wherever we like. Again this is the ideal video Kodak allowing you to export in 4k while having a relatively small file size while still maintaining much of the original quality. Now let's say you want to export a top quality or a best quality version of your video. Perhaps you're giving this to a client or you want to save it for your own archives. Well, in this case, we're going to change the Kodak. We're going to go from H.264 up to Apple ProRes 422. If we go ahead and select this, you'll see the resolution has been maintained. So it is still in 4K at 30 FPS. You'll notice a much larger file size. Now that's because this is a uncompressed lossless Kodak. So it will preserve all the original quality and will give you a best quality export, which is great again if you're handing say a video to a client you want them to have the best quality version or say for your own records you want to keep that as well. I don't advise using this video Kodak for uploading to the internet as because for example with YouTube your videos are heavily compressed before they'll actually be live and viewable on YouTube. Therefore whether you upload as an H.264 or 422 export the quality that will ultimately be visible to your viewers on YouTube will be very very similar and is not worth the extra data or time uploading. And from here, you simply want to select next and export. So exporting a 4K project to 4K in Final Cut is relatively simple, as of course the resolution is automatically identified and selected. But how does this work for a project that is not in 4K? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my other example project here. In this case, another video of mine. This is a Apple Magic Keyboard unboxing and review, which I will also leave links down below if you want to check it out. Now, if we look at the project specifications, you'll see that we're working with a 1080p HD project. So let's go into the same share menu, select master file, and let's see what options we have. If we go into settings, you'll notice that the resolution, of course, matches that of the project, therefore will not be exported in 4K. So how do we change this? Well, first we have to recognize that the export quality is the same as that of the original project. So what that means is we're gonna have to create a new project in the new desired resolution, in this case, 4K. So we're gonna go under the same pre-existing event. We'll go up to file, select new, and then project. 
Now from here, your screen may look a little bit different. You may see this. If this is what you see, be sure to select the use custom settings button to expand this. And this will give you manual control over all of your project's parameters. Now in this case, we can change the video resolution. As you can see, we're going from 1080p to 4K, but you can also change it to 8K. You can even have a vertical ratio uh, for say uploading to Instagram. I have a separate full length tutorial on this. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll also leave this in the description. But in this case, we're gonna be selecting 4K. Now you wanna make sure that your frame rate matches. In this case, we'll maintain 30 frames per second and all other settings can remain the same. Let's press okay. All right, so here we have a blank project. Now in this case, we look at the specifications and you'll see that this is a 4K project, again, at 30 FPS. Now let's go ahead and bring in the footage from our 1080p project line, which is the one up here. So what we're gonna do is simply select everything we wanna carry over. In this case, that would include all the clips, audio and titles. So I'm just gonna press Command A on my keyboard and press Command C to copy. Next, we'll go into the new project. Let's actually rename this really quickly here to 4K, just so we know which is which. And then we're gonna go ahead and drag the playhead to the start of the project and press Paste by pressing Command V. Now you'll notice that all the video has now been copied over as well as the elements and this looks great. Now of course, because the aspect ratio between 4K and 1080p is consistent, the image will still fill the frame fully. But you will notice it does have to render as indicated by these little dots, so let's go ahead and render this out. So now while this renders, I'm just going to explain what exactly is going on. What we've done is we've taken 1080p HD footage and dragged this into a 4K timeline. Now what it is effectively doing is upscaling this 1080p footage to 4K and that's exactly why it has to render once the footage is copied over from the 1080p timeline to the 4K timeline. Now there's several benefits to upscaling to 4K and exporting that way. First of all, of course, this will be scaled properly to match the resolution of a 4K display. And secondly, if say you're uploading to YouTube, a 4K project will be given a higher bitrate, meaning that the quality of the footage will look better if it's a 4K file versus a 1080p file even if that footage has been upscaled from an original 1080p recording, like we're doing here. All right, so the video has now finished rendering and has effectively been upscaled to a 4K timeline. You could probably hear the noise from my laptop fans in the background, as of course this does take a little bit of power, but it did so relatively quickly. Now let's go ahead and see how we can export this project. We're gonna go back up into the same share menu and select master file. And here you will again see the same options and settings as before, but this time it'll actually show the 4K resolution. Again, in this case, matching that of the original project. And from here, we're able to export this project as 4K. And this is how you export any video in 4K through Final Cut. Whether it be 1080p, 720p, or any resolution, this can be scaled up and altered using custom settings when creating your project. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Subscribe for more content like this and check out my full Final Cut Pro 10 playlist. Thank you for watching.